go away. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Today I am... <sighs> Hi, welcome back. This week I walked 10,000 steps a day every day. And this is that video, my results and thoughts. The CDC recommends that most adults aim for 10,000 steps per day. And for the purposes of this video, I did that all in one walk, which took me about 90 minutes. It's like, I don't know, probably five, five hours since my walk on day one. And both of us are way more exhausted than I thought we would be. Um, so I just Googled it. I thought 10,000 miles was, I mean, I thought 10,000 steps was three miles, but apparently it's five. So we went a lot further than I thought we did. This is going to be harder than I was expecting, but I'm committed. Everyone knows that walking is so beneficial for your health and weight loss is one byproduct of walking more. When I did a similar challenge to this several years ago, I lost a lot of weight, but there are so many other health benefits from walking, and I thought about getting into those scientifically for you guys, but I thought it might be a little overwhelming to get super into the weeds. I did see a TikTok that was really compelling to me personally about how walking can actually help prevent um, Alzheimer's and dementia and so I thought I would get into that specifically a little bit. I just found an article from Harvard. It says there is no medication yet invented that can cut your risk of dementia by 50% but walking about 10,000 steps, 10,000 steps per day might suggest a study published online September 6, 2022 by JAMA Neurology. Researchers analyze health and activity information for more than 78,000 healthy people ages 40 to 79 who wore fitness trackers 24 hours a day for at least three days and then were followed for seven years. Compared with people who didn't walk much at all, people who walked about 9,800 steps per day, which is about five miles, were 51, 51, percent less likely to develop dementia. People who walked just 3,800 steps per day, which is about two miles, were about 25% less likely to develop dementia. The study was observational, so cannot provide conclusive proof that walking itself made the difference, but it won't hurt to try fitting a few more steps into your daily routine. The more steps you take, the better it is for your health, your brain, your heart, and your protection against cancer, among other benefits. So basically what I'm trying to say is no matter what your health goals are, walking will help. Whether your goals are physical or mental or spiritual or emotional, honestly, walking can help all of the categories and it even is helpful for your dog. I saw a TikTok also recently regarding dogs and how they require at least 5,000 steps per day for their physical and their emotional needs as well. The purpose of this clip is to show you something I picked up, a tip that if you walk with your palms open and forward like I am here, it opens up your chest and really helps your posture and that's something else that can really improve while you're doing your walking challenge. And so every day while I was walking, I tried to walk with my palms open and forward um, like I tried to show in that clip. <laughs> So about two years ago, I did a 30-day challenge where I walked three miles every day, and I was super specific and intense about the results, about documenting everything. I took progress pictures at the beginning and at the end, and I also took all of my measurements at the beginning and at the end, and I weighed myself. And so if you haven't watched that video, I will link it at the end of this one. I, spoiler alert, I did lose a lot of weight. You'll have to watch the video to find out exactly how much I lost. This time around, I was planning on doing 30 um, days consecutively. 
And then we went back into like winter mode and the roads were really icy. We got a lot of snow and it wasn't very feasible to continue for 30 days. So I did seven days instead and I still learned a lot and it was beneficial. Good boy. By day seven, we had spent a lot of time outside, seen a lot of cool wildlife. My legs felt like they were gonna fall off. They were quite sore after seven days. And Frank Dog has never been happier. He really enjoyed these walks together and he deserves nice long walks every day. Okay, I need to try to summarize what I learned this week for you guys. And what I will say is 90 minutes of walking a day is too much of a commitment for me to do long term at this point in my life. <laughs> um, however, I felt great while I was walking. I slept really well. I'm sure I would have lost weight if I would have been paying attention or keeping track of that. If I would have continued this challenge. Um, but 90 minutes is just a lot. Doing an hour a day feels much more obtainable. And I'm definitely going to start walking more than I have been recently because I can already feel the benefits and the effects that it has on me emotionally and physically. So I hope that if you are watching this video in anticipation of maybe trying your own challenge, go for it. I know that it will help you um and let me know how it goes for you and you don't have to like do 90 minutes obviously just start slow start doing more now than you were doing yesterday whether it's a 15 minute walk or a 30 minute walk a couple times a week or whatever it is it's all beneficial and keep trying to improve yourself and improve your health daily if you want to that's not like my tagline or anything. Don't do it if you don't want to, but. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in my next video. Oh, here comes trouble.